Hey, this is Bob from Wham's Tech, and today we're gonna to take a look at Story Express, a really neat platform that lets you gate your video content in order for other things to happen based on watches. So certainly you could use YouTube or Vimeo or even Google Drive to insert video content into your apps, but what if you want to require your users to watch the video all the way through before they're allowed to do anything else? In that case, you need some sort of app that will let you have a Zapier or some sort of other webhook connection that will talk to your app in order to make that happen. So, uh, Story Express is one of those platforms. Let's take a look. Within the video section of your dashboard here, you can easily preview your videos and perform actions on your videos. Here I can edit my videos and change the call to actions and player settings if I have an upgraded account. For my purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the share link for this video. So for the share link, all I need here is the video ID, or if I wanted to, I could grab the entire link if I just want to allow users to open up the content here in, uh, the, in the app. But I'm going to be doing some more interesting things with this, so I'm going to grab just the video ID here and copy that. Okay, in my app, what I want to see happen is have the video and then upon completing the video, um, have some sort of notification that the video has been watched. All right, in order to make this happen, I need to insert some information into my Google Sheet. So here is my list of videos. I have here just some, a title, a description, and then here's the video ID that I copied from Story Express. Okay, and then in the data editor, I've taken that video ID and fleshed out the full URL. So here is the uh, template for the video link where it's storyexpress.co forward slash video forward slash then the ID. And the beautiful part about Story Express is that you can allow user tracking by adding this parameter to the end of the video. Question mark, email equals, and then the video, or sorry, the email address of the user watching. And when you perform your zap, this email address will be recorded to your spreadsheet. So here I'm grabbing, in this case, the email address is the current signed in user. And so you see here, because I am signed in as me at the moment, my video link says Robert Petito at Wipu.edu. If I change my video UR, or sorry, if I change my user, then you see here that the user changed to jim at email.com or bob at email.com or natalie at email.com. So whoever's watching the email will have a personalized tracking URL for the video. So this is the full video link. Uh, however, Glide needs the embed video link, which is why I grabbed just the video ID so that way I can craft this embed link. And so instead I have the word embed in front of .storyexpress.co, and instead of video, it's embed, forward slash ID, question mark, email equals, and then the current signed in user. All right, so then in the embed video, this is the one that I'm presenting using a web view component. So yes, this does require you to have a pro account in order to use the web view component. Okay, otherwise, you could simply use a button and the button could say watch video. And then the watch video can open up a web view component of the embedded URL. Okay. So whether I watch it live here, hey everybody, it's me. or I click watch video and it opens it up here, Everybody, it's me. <laughs> Either way, we'll let you watch the video uh, embedded right within your app. All right, so that being said, the next thing here is to have your zap. So what we want to see happen is once they've watched the video, okay, then we want to write a line to our spreadsheet. So Story Express does have um, a Zapier rule, and they have a variety of events that can trigger it. So I like to use the 75% video watch. If they've watched most of the video, great. Uh, you also have a 100% video watch, 
or even just a 25% video watch. Um, if you have an upgraded account where you're using your call to action buttons or so forth, you can use the button annotation clicked or things of that nature. Okay, and then you choose your account, you insert your API, um, which, you can, which you grab from the integrations section down here in uh, Story Express. Okay, and then you can set up your Zap. So here's my spreadsheet. Um, I, basically, I just select my account, select my spreadsheet, and then I'm customizing my spreadsheet row. And so some of the things that I have included here is the email address, uh, the name of the video, the video ID, which is, again, just the, just the core ID here. If I wanted to, I could instead use the full video link, but I'm just using the video ID instead here. Okay. You can even get things such as uh, their, their, um, their location in case you want to do some sort of analytics with that, the source of the video, and things and, and so forth. Okay, and then uh, you're sending that data and done. All right, so there is about a minute delay after watching the video in order for it to hit the spreadsheet just because of Zapier, the nature of Zapier. But once it's done, okay, then we'll see a line appear in our spreadsheet with that information. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. I have a quick little video here. So in my gamification tutorial video, this one's only 13 seconds long, right? Right now I'm signed in as Natalie, but I'm gonna go back and be signed in as, let's say, Jim, okay? And so this video here is specific to Jim. It's got his uh, URL, his email address at the end of this URL. And so once the zap runs, it's going to record his email address as part of the zap. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this video now. Hey everybody, it's me, and this is Story Express. Continue watching my follow-up video so you can learn how to integrate this platform into your Glide app. So that follow-up video is the one you're currently watching. And as I mentioned, after watching the video all the way through, it does take about a minute for Zapier to run that Zap based on your Zapier plan. Uh, so after about a minute or so, we should see the new line here in the sheet that you specified for your zap with the information with the email, the name of your video, the video ID, and possibly the timestamp and some other feedback as well. All right, it's been a minute and now we see the line has appeared in our Google Sheet from Zapier. And again, you see that it has got the email, the name of the challenge, um, our video ID for the evidence, um, the comment in this case I said was how much of the percentage of the video they watched. Um, and we can use just this amount of information in order to do some things within Glide. So back in our gamification tutorial, right, um, here I can now create a relation between the challenge and the completed video. So let's do something like that. We can create a template column here called uh, video user and we'll do a template column that combines the video ID and the email address of the user. So we'll do pound sign and then E, where pound sign stands for the video ID and E stands for the current signed in user. I already pulled this over using a template column or I could certainly just go to user email address as well. Done. Okay, and then I'll create an identical column here in the challenge log. So my challenge log, I'll create a template column called email and video. Look, I think I've already done that. I'll just replace the order here so it matches. All right, so this evidence should be the uh, video ID. I don't know, my evidence is a photo column. Let's change that to a text column. There we go. All right, so now I have an email and video, and this should match my challenges. And then I need to have a relation between the two. So here I'm gonna do a relation between the video user and then the challenge log, email video. I'm going to match multiple just in case you want to allow users to watch a video more than once. But as you can see, I now have a, uh, a match with my user. All right, so now 
I can do some fun things with that. So here I can have a button that says challenge submitted, right? Um, if I want to, I can change my web view to be hidden, right? Or I can hide this post altogether, right? And then we can mark this challenge as being complete. So maybe um, our challenges here will only display ones that they haven't yet watched, right? So we could add a filter to where um, the rel completed video is not empty. Or sorry, is empty. Right? And then maybe we want to create a second one, a second inline list, or just a, re a relation of all the completed videos. So we could do a list relation. We could call this, um, I guess completed videos is fine. No, we want to have the actual challenges. So we'll do the challenges, and we can call this completed videos where that relation is not empty, right? So if I click on completed videos, I'll see that this is the one I just watched. Otherwise, I would, if I watch this one too, then it would be a whole list of them displaying my completed videos section. So again, uh, some fun ways that we can now uh, gate video content. It's not entirely instant yet, but um, Story Express is a relatively new company. They were founded in 2014, and their Zapier integration, I think, is pretty much brand new here. So uh, as they work the kinks out, I imagine that those apps will become more and more instant, which again makes our, our Glide app more instant as well, but um, a nice little feature for us Glide users. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.